What? Let's give it over here. We have a special guest joining us right now, Gary Whipperman at halftime of W7 Productions. How are we doing, Gary? Hey, good, Matt. Good to see you guys. Elijah, good to see you guys. And uh, you got great seats here for tonight's game. Yeah. You scared me at first. I'm like, how oh, here? <laughs> so, Gary broadcasts all girls sports with W7. Also filmed Slinger over here. Came over with him to Showtime Sports. I actually had no clue you were here tonight. I, I walked in that. and I was like, I knew you, you filmed for Slinger football. I'm like, is he here or is he not? Because I saw you guys were broadcasting girls yeah, hockey. Oh, there. broadcasting girls hockey today. I see. The, what's it called again? The uh, So we're doing the Para Ice Hockey uh, uh, Women's Challenge. It is uh, Team USA, Team Canada, uh, Team World, and Team Great Britain. Uh, they're all playing in at uh, Green Bay. Connor DeVoice is up there. Him and David Meyer from our team are up there running those productions. We've done four games. There's four left. Uh, I'll be there on Sunday for the semifinals of the championship game and looking forward to that. They're doing a great job and I know a lot of people are really enjoying that pair of ice hockey. It's a fun sport to watch. It really is. Women's, uh, women's pair of ice hockey. It's, uh, you, you wouldn't know it, I mean, it it's, but it's really exciting and really fun. I'm kind of check it in while I'm, while I'm filming this game, but uh, yeah, we're having a great time. So yeah, close to women's sports. You're also broadcasting hockey right now. I mean, volleyball right now. Which is a big one here. We obviously, like you obviously mean you talk back and forth. We have a nationally ranked team in Wisconsin right now. According to Max Press, we have DSHA right now nationally ranked after they beat Oconomowoc last Saturday in a close battle there. But Oconomowoc and DSHA, like I talked to Aaron Williams, they're both probably going to finish nationally ranked at the end of the year. And that showcase that you guys are covering at West Bend East is going to be the deciding factor in who finishes higher. Well, they both are great blue blood programs in Wisconsin volleyball. Uh, Coach Busby at Common Rock does a fantastic job. I mean, year in, year out, they're contenders for a state championship. They're worth defending state champs this year. Um, if you look at the Wisconsin roster, there's always a Common Rock kid in there somewhere uh, on that roster for the Badgers. So uh, she does a great job. And of course, DSHA also perennially good year after year after year. There's a lot of really great volleyball in the, in the state of Wisconsin, and uh, it's going to be a fun season. We kicked off our season last night uh, with some Division Four volleyball, uh, Oostburg and Random Lake, but we will be at the Sprawl uh, on September 23rd at West Bend for that event. That is the premier event of the high school season. We'll be there for that. Also, for you Slinger fans, we'll be at West Bend East on September 19th when Slinger visits the West Bend East. And I know I'm not allowed to talk about Hartford, but we are doing a Hartford uh, match as well. That's in early October. So oh, yeah. we always try to get Slinger and Hartford. If, if the schedule works out, we try to do the, the rivalry game between the two. It didn't work out this year, but we still got both on our schedule. Yeah, we had some great players, particularly in women's sports. The one sport that really shouted out to me last year was girls soccer. And I went through and went through all those rankings. But girls soccer in the top 100 have Five teams in Wisconsin nationally ranked. Muskego being the highest at 13. But that was a sport that really shot up. But basketball is the one that I thought we should have had a nationally ranked team. First of all, Notre Dame Academy was on the brink of being nationally ranked, but they just did not get there to this season. But coming off, what's it, a three-peat now? They, yeah. They're going to be, na they're going to have to, I'm going to definitely talk to the basketball and be like, hey man, they just won three state championships in a row. We got to rank this team nationally. Well, I mean, they, you know, they've won three in a row and they went undefeated uh, last year. And they've got everybody back except for Hope Barrington, who's gone on to UW Oshkosh. But Gracie Gresh is back with the Wisconsin commit. Trista Feta is back. Sydney Whitehouse is back. These are all D2 college commits. So, uh, in Division Two, it's, it truly is, you can, it's Notre Dame or the field to win the D2 State Championship. You know what? If I'm buying stock, I'm buying Notre Dame stock. <laughs> to your comment on, on soccer, just real quick, we don't broadcast soccer, but I do keep up with it. You know, Oregon is oh, always yeah. good. Whitefish <laughs> Bay is always good. Muskego, Brookfield Central, Cal Marine. We've got a lot of great girls' soccer teams in the state of Wisconsin. I think, you know, that's that sport I would love to see. Get a little more love than what I guess because uh, uh, those kids work hard. Talk about you guys last year the state softball tournament, too. You did every game Thursday through Saturday. That had been expensive. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, we, we got a little bit of help from sponsors, but, you know, I just can't. 
came out right away and said, I don't, whatever it costs, we're just going to take care of yeah. it. Because um, a lot of people wanted this to be able to be there for the games. They couldn't be there. And not all the games were televised. In fact, most of you had to pay a subscription for it. And I said, you know what? This is, you know, softball is one of our flagship sports. Let's just go there and do all the games. And you know what? We've had so much fun doing that. We're going to do it every year from now on. So we did 19 games. Uh, and uh, we're always looking for sponsors. So productionsw7.com. Uh, we'd love to have uh, help from anybody that's interested. But uh, we're going to do uh, state basketball again this year, state softball. And uh, we're just we're really having a great time covering girls' sports and also supporting boys' sports as well. Um, you know, I would say I, I love watching boys' sports, but I, just, I really, really enjoy the camaraderie of not only the girls, but also the families, the coaches, the athletics. We're really one big girls' sports community, and it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah, I know that's interesting one. Like, you guys got a lot of sports there that you cover online. You guys got recognition around the Midwest, obviously, doing the Showtime Sports when I was there with you guys in Waukesha. That was a huge one. We had players. We saw a player all the way from Kansas come to that. I remember calling that. I was like, holy moly here. Yeah, we had um, players in you know, Wisconsin, Illinois, Kansas, Indiana, Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota. There were 300 of the best softball players in the Midwest. And uh, that event is going to keep getting bigger and better every year. Uh, John Kelleher and Bill Grahams do a fantastic job. ShowtimeSports.com. Uh, Check them out for, uh, for really great softball coverage. And I just got to also just real quick uh, give a big thanks to Mike Daniels, the athletic director yeah, here exactly. at Slinger. Uh, Mike is, Mike's one of the very best ADs in our state. And uh, he's been so supportive and so kind to us. And as has the Slinger community, we absolutely love, love, love Slinger. And uh, I guess a lot of friends at Homestead as well. Homestead girls basketball. I'm telling you, watch out for the Homestead girls basketball team this year. They got a whole group of kids that are going to be juniors this year on that girls team. Great Fortman is one. Um, I mean, they're, they're going to be really good. I, I'm looking for them to make a run for state this year. Yeah, that's. I agree with you there. Who do you think is going to be the best team in Division One? Because obviously, Kel Moraine lost Grace Krahulski. Uh Germantown lost KK Arnold. I mean, it's one of those. Um, who do you think is going to be the best in Division One? I Need some refresher on that. Well, too. you know, I, I think it's going to be a really fun field this year. I think Brookfield East will be good again this year. Kovacic comes back uh, next year, uh, but they lost on Anna Kuliver. So, I mean, I think there's a lot of teams that are going to re rebuild. I think Arrowhead is going to be really strong in Division One uh, girls basketball this year. So, um, I think there's a lot of a lot of good teams out there. I, you know, I never count out that the Madison area team for Rona is always fun. Now they've got a new coach coming this year, the Andrew Murphy uh, retired after the past year, so there'll be some changes there. But it's it's always fun to see new teams and new blood. I love it when new teams, but I gotta tell you, uh, I'm looking at Homestead and I'm looking at Hartford as two potential dark horses to be at the Rush Center next year. And then Pius in Division Two oh, yeah. will be another one. Yeah, you guys cover that um what's that big event at Pius that has girls teams there in February, is it? Yeah, it's the uh, Colts Invitational. Last year was the last year, so they're not doing that anymore. Oh. But we will be doing the Watertown Holiday Shootout. That's between Christmas and New Year's, December 26th. We've also got a lot of great announcements coming up. We're going to do Carol Women's Basketball over the next big weekend. Uh, also, some news coming from us about uh, women's college hockey. Oh, uh, that's we're cool. going to do a couple of uh, college hockey and maybe, maybe a couple of high school uh, girls hockey events as well. So, you know, the great thing, uh, Matt, and I got to thank you and, and Elijah both for your guys' uh, partnership with us. It's been really great watching you guys really do what you love to do. And I, and I, I listen a lot. You guys probably know that I listen to a lot of your stuff. Awesome. Uh, you know, for what you guys do, I, I think it's just amazing. And uh, whatever we do to support you guys, we're all in to do that. So together, I would say we're one big community supporting all these kids out here. Uh, I don't have any competitors, just people that we work, that work together with. Yeah, on our side of things, we got some competitors we ran into, obviously some issues with schools we had. I mean, here's, here's my take on that. Yeah. So, Matt, and, and you guys do this what you want. Go where there's love. Yep. Because there's plenty of hate out there. There's plenty of places <laughs> that are like, hey, we have so-and-so. The minute somebody says, we've already got so-and-so, yeah. move on. Yeah. And you know what? I guarantee you. So I talked to Mike Daniels. He was thrilled you guys were here tonight. Right. So go go where the love is. And believe me, there's a lot of kids that would die to have an experience, like a game day experience that you guys provide. So 
keep, you know, stay encouraged. You know, you got a lot of support. You got a lot of friends. You got a lot of people that love what you're doing. Don't get discouraged by the people that don't get it because you know what? There's a lot of people that don't get it. Yeah. And you know, we get it all the time. We go, oh, no, we're good. We just move on to the next one. Yeah, you guys got, what, 5,000 followers on Twitter now? So we have 25,000 followers on social media all together. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Me and him combined about 600. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Five years ago, we had under 500. Oh, so yeah. So it grows. Yeah. Maybe one day he'll get 20,000. Absolutely. Like yeah. no, no, maybe. It'll yeah, happen. It will It'll happen. happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. High school sports is growing this day in Wisconsin. I just wish. We're never going to catch up to the space Florida or Texas are at. They're just so popular down there. But I was going to say, we're one of the best states in the Midwest now for high school sports. Wish the match preps and um, WIA would get the partnership going. But I can't get hate to West sports because they do a good job there too. So. Well, Great those are all organizations, right? Those organizations got their policies, they got the way they do things, and a lot of them probably aren't going to change. But what is changing, if you look around the state, a lot of schools are getting it around strength and conditioning. A lot of schools are getting it around nutrition, around developing athletes. And what you see out of this result of that is you see kids like McKenna Wooker going to play Division One volleyball in Minnesota. You see K.K. Arno. K.K. Arno is a terrific talent. But a lot of development in the state of Wisconsin. So, and she's going to uh, UConn. You look at Allie Zabel at, at Nina. Nina has a fantastic uh, athletic program. So, you know, well, while we can't control the WIA and, and all those outside organizations that do, we are so encouraged by seeing these schools embrace strength, conditioning, nutrition, and of course, the safety of the athletes. That's the most important thing. It's funny because I, I remember being on the phone or being on email in touch with the Max Preps girls player in the week of the year and now it's came in with the whole, like, who's going to win and everything. Obviously, KK Arnold won, but at the moment, I'm like, they ask me my update, and I'm like, don't know. I, can't, I, I, I had to pass because I'm like, there's so many good girls in the state. And I'm like, I don't want to pick the wrong. I don't want to take one from the other one. I'm like, KK Arnold won. I'm not going to say she should have or should not have because she was, they're all three of them. Zabel, Karolski, Arnold, all terrific basketball players. So, awesome girls basketball selection we had in the state last year that Kellen Marine Brookfield East Division One game last year. I actually watched that game from my basement. Never know. I'm gonna make the drive next year. Well I still say you know one of the most underrated players in the state is Gracie Gresh at Notre Dame Academy. Uh, she is she is a five tool player uh, that is just fantastic. And and again, you know, who's the player of the year? I don't know. I mean, that, I, I wouldn't want that job. I can tell you that, figuring that out. Uh, I just enjoy watching the kids play. Yeah. You know, I, I love, again, I mentioned soccer. I love watching um, Oregon soccer, the Studebaker kid over at Oregon. She won the state championship two years ago in a in a shootout uh, for soccer in the, state, in the state finals. So, I mean, when you see, and, and of course, you know, love local sport athletes, kids that go play all sports. Don't lock yourself, lock yourself into, hey, you can only do this sport. That's not true. Go do other sports. Do as many as you can. You get four years, that's it. Take advantage of it and, and go do everything. Yeah. Completely agree with you. The more sports you play as a kid, the better athlete you're going to be. So go out and play, be a multi-sport athlete. Every organization pushes that. That's what I like about high yeah, school sports. You can play many, especially you can play a fall, winter, spring sport. All different things. You're not going to have a lot of time at home, but at least you're getting out, and getting with your friends, getting better athletes all the time. Well, how much time we got left here? All right. Hey, man. I'm going to clip this. I'm going to clip this interview later. Get it up on Twitter, and then we're going to just have a clip of this interview because this needs to be highlighted. There's girls talk. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And, you know, I really appreciate what you guys are doing, especially you know, at, at your age to take the initiative that you're doing. Um, not a lot of kids would do that. And, you know, to me, it just speaks to your passion for what you're doing. I encourage you to keep it up, keep doing it. Let us know how we can help. We're always here to support you guys. Love what you guys do. And uh, keep up the great work. It's funny because I told the California office about your organization. So thank you. Max Prep. So I'm like hoping you guys can get nationally nationally attention because there's not many organizations out there around this, around the country that have only girls sports out there. So no, not many at all. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You guys might even be the only one. I don't know right now. No other ones I know of. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Hopefully they do what give out awards once in a while. So hopefully we can get you on that list. With sports made their awards back in 2015 for best statistician website statewide. So. Hope we can get you out there. Well, Girl Sports Award, you guys are definitely winning. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me, and uh, good luck uh, 
tonight and the uh, rest of the season and keep thank in touch. You. Yeah. Best of luck to you guys. Right. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. That was Gary Whipperman, ladies and gentlemen, of W7 Productions. Go subscribe. Go follow him on Twitter. Go do everything that's related to him as we will take a game break.